So, um, this is the thing that I just spent like 10 minutes on. It's my version of a rheostat or it's just a bunch of very small copper wire wound on a glass jar. And what makes and how this would be wired up that this would be ground and then there'd be a sweeper and then that go into the load and then into plus or live um, this is how a normal variac right here works you have your coil you have your neutral and your live and your overwinding so you can put 120 volts into a variac and getting 240 volts because right here is like a secondary to this transformer so it's like this is a primary winding this is a secondary winding and because the secondary and primary windings are connected this is called an auto former auto transformer so you can get 120 volts from I mean if you put 120 volts right here you can get 240 from right here to right here and how normally it works is you have neutral going into your load and then you have the sweeper going across from here from 0 volts all, all the way to 240 volts and that's how, how normal variac works but this right here I'll probably just do it for 12 volts AC because that's what my power supply uses for I don't know it's just I don't know anything that can that can limit something for, from a transformer like this but hopefully this will be able to handle that and will hopefully not just go up and smoke So, just, what I'll do is I'll have one end of this. I personally don't know which one of these are is live or neutral or anything. And I'll just connect it to this end. And then I'll have this connected to one end of my load. And then I'll have the other end of the load connected to the sweeper. And because this is small copper wire it has a lot of resistance so um, and that resistance will go into heat so this copper wire will get really hot and as it gets hot it will take away um, amps or voltage away from the load so that is transformed into heat So, um, hopefully you understood that. <laughs>